three, two, one, let's go! Hey family, today is Wednesday, January 10th, and this is your brother Adam with the Watchman Adam News Channel, back with another End Times video. Family, let's go! Now family, as always, we want to say thank you for tuning in with us today. Your love and support of this channel means the world to us. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. And before we get into today's video, if you can give this video a thumbs up and make sure you got the notification bell turned on, that way you'll be notified every time we upload an End Times video. Now while we're an End Time News Channel, the ultimate goal of this channel is to point you to the cross, to point you to the finished work of Jesus on the cross. And nothing says it better than John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now family, in my humble opinion, that is the perfect definition of what true love is. We want to say thank you Jesus for the cross. Now to today's End Times video. Now family, here in America it's an election year. It's election 2024. And family, the circus show has already begun. Now, family, I've told you before, I don't do politics, I don't get into politics, but I do report news coming from politics, and family, I'm seeing a trend going on that's actually quite alarming. Donald J. Trump is being portrayed like he's the savior of the world, like he is the Messiah. And family, there's even been books written that are portraying Donald Trump like he's the savior of the world, like this one, President Donald J. Trump, the son of man, the Christ. Or like this one right here, Donald Messiah Trump by God Yahweh, the man, the myth, the Messiah. Now family, both the titles of them book, in my opinion, are absolutely insane. They're inaccurate because we know the Messiah's name is Jesus. And family, I'm not out here bashing Donald Trump, but there are those who almost idolize this man. It's almost like they worship him. And family, he's no different than me or you. He puts on his pants one leg at a time just like me, and just like you. Now family, in a minute, we're going to be looking at a video that Donald Trump shared the True Social, and I'm going to let you draw your own conclusions on the video, but first let's look at some headlines. This one comes from Watchman Dan. Guy gave us Trump, ex-president post video, declaring himself to be divinely chosen. And the next one comes from OK News, God's chosen caretaker for America. Donald Trump portrays himself as Messiah in Bizarre Truth Social Post. And finally, family, this one comes from NowTheEndBegins.com. New video promoting 2024 GOP campaign called So God Made Trump, borrowed from Paul Harvey Classic to present a Messianic candidate for president. Now, family, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this video for you. I'm going to let you draw your own conclusion. The audio has been removed out of the video, I'll be speaking over it, but this is the actual video footage they used on True Social. Family, check this out. So on June 14th, 1946, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker, so God gave us Trump. God said I need somebody willing to get up before dawn, fix this country, work all day, fight the Marxists, eat supper, then go to the Oval Office and stay past midnight at the meeting of the head of state. So God made Trump. I need somebody with arms, strong enough to rustle the deep state, but yet gentle enough to deliver his own grandchild. Somebody to ruffle the feathers. Tame, cantankerous World Economic Forum. Come home hungry. Have to wait till the First Lady is done with lunch. With friends. Then tell the ladies to be sure to come back real soon and mean it. So God gave us Trump. I need someone who could shape an axe, but wield a sword. Who had the courage to step foot in North Korea. Who can make money from the tar to the sand. Turn liquid to gold. Who understands the difference between tariffs and inflation. We'll finish his 40 hour week by Tuesday noon, then put in another 72 hours. So God made Trump. God had there somebody willing to go in the den of vipers and call out the fake news, for their tongues as sharp as a serpent. The poison of vipers is on their lips, and yet stop. So God made Trump. God said, I need somebody who will be strong and courageous, 
who will not be afraid or terrified of the wolves when they attack. A man who cares for the flock. A shepherd of mankind who will never lead them nor forsake them. I need the most diligent worker to follow the path and remain strong in faith. And no, the belief of God and country. Somebody who's willing to drill. Bring back manufacturing and American jobs. Farm the lands. Secure our borders. Build our military. Fight the system all day. And finish a hard week's work by attending church on Sunday. And then his oldest son turns and says, Dad, let's make America great again. Dad, let's build back a country to be the envy of the world again. So God made Trump. Now, family, wow. So you see, this is why former President Donald Trump is once again making headlines. And this time it's with a video of that of Paul Harvey's famous So God Made a Farmer, and it frames Trump as a Messiah figure. And family, in the video, Trump takes center stage in the video as God's chosen caretaker for America. And family, the video script, which is both creepy and messianic in tone, emphasizes Trump's perceived strengths and accomplishments. And it portrays him as a hard-working, dedicated leader who is willing to go to great lengths for the country, the United States of America. Now, family, like I said, I'm not out here bashing Donald Trump. I'm just reporting news to you guys. But guys, you got to admit, there are so many in the world who are painting him like a Messiah-type figure, like he is the savior of the United States of America. Family, our trust don't lay in any political figure. Our trust is in Christ alone. Christ is in charge of everything. The Most High God, who sits on his throne in heaven, he is sovereign over us. And like I said, we're seeing in society a push for Donald Trump to be like a messianic figure, family. And in my opinion, that is absolutely wrong. I mean, family, there's even books being written that literally calls Donald Trump the Messiah. And family, there's no other way around it that is straight up blasphemy. And family, I promise you, Donald Trump is not the shepherd to all mankind. The shepherd to all mankind, his name is Jesus Christ. And like I said, family, I fully expect him to win the 2024 election. I think there's more work he has to do on the Abraham Accords. But between now and November will be a very interesting time here in America. In the comment section below, let me know what you think. Will Donald Trump win the 2024 election? Let us know below. But family, Donald Trump is not the Messiah. The Messiah's name is Jesus. And let me tell you about him briefly. Our Messiah Jesus was born of a virgin and he lived a sinless, perfect life. He lived his entire life without ever once sinning. Then Jesus, our Messiah, he went on that cross at the age of 33. And family, he spilled his blood. He paid our sin debt on the cross. He laid down his perfect, innocent life for us. And then family, he laid dead for three days, three days, three days. But guess what? That tomb could not hold our Messiah. Death could not hold Jesus. He defeated death. He defeated the tomb. He resurrected and went to go be with his father, the Most High God. And family, on this channel, we do know he's coming back for us soon. If you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, today can be your day of salvation. Believe the gospel of Jesus. The Most High God is faithful and He is just. And family, He will forgive you your sins and that's facts. Well, my beautiful channel family, as always, I want to say thank you for watching. Just so you guys know, here in an hour or two, I'm going to upload a YouTube short. It's going to be an Israel news update. And we're going to take a look at some end time headlines coming out of the land of modern day Israel. But like I said, once again, I want to say thank you guys. We love you so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and feel free to share it. And family, if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, drop them in the comment section below. There is no prayer request too big, no prayer request too small for our God. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button and join our channel family. Because on this channel, you guys are more than number. You guys are loved and appreciated. And I pray for you guys on a daily basis. And if you want to contribute to independent news, there's ways you can do so. We got donation links in the description box below. But as always, the biggest form of support we can get is you guys' prayers. Well, my beautiful channel family, till next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in 3, 2, 
one. I love you and remember, let's go Harpazzo. Later guys. Bye. Bye.